Hey you guys, Ashley here, and I have my Not Too Shabby Design Team project to share with you today. Um, I will put the link below for the products that I'm going to share, and if you do head over to the shop, you can use my coupon code, Crafty Girl, to save 10%. So I'm going to start just by showing you the products I'll be using. So this is a pack of Doodlebug Twine. Jamie has a whole bunch of different selections of these over in the shop, and I'm going to be using the red color on this one. It's like a nice burgundy red color. I really like it. I'll be using the Lawn Fawn Pizza My Heart set. And I will link all this below for you. So I'll be using that pizza, the little um, pizza cutter, and the slice. This one is Lawn Fawn Baked with Love. And I'll be using this super cute little cake stand, the bowl, spoon, and a little bit of flour. This one is the Fairy Friends set by Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to use these super cute little fairies. I just love them. I'm going to use a few different dies. Um, the first one that I'll be using is this Lawn Fawn set, and I'll be using the biggest set um, piece in this. This is the large stitch rectangles. And then I'm going to be using um, this little border stripped one. It is called the scalloped border dies, and I'm going to use the biggest border. And then this is my absolute new favorite die. This is the Avery L. Wonky Stitches die, and I'm going to use the biggest die there for from this set. I will link that one below. I believe that one is in stock right now as well. And I have just been having so much fun using that as layering pieces. So these are the products I'll be using. And now I'm going to get started with the card tutorial for you guys. So to begin with, I'm going to be using this A2 sized card. And it's just a yellow card um, on one side and white on the other. So I'll start with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle die. And I'm going to use the biggest die there. And I'm just adhering that onto the card base with my ATG gun. And I just cut it out in white card stock. Then I'm going to be using the Avery L Wonky Stitch die. I'm using the largest one. And I'm going to cut out this yellow sheet here and then I've also cut out um, this red gingham one and it is so pretty so what I'm going to do is have the yellow showing on top and the red on the bottom so to do that I'm going to use this um, scallop stitch border die and I'm not showing the die cutting in my video but um, just through editing magic I have it all cut here so that is what's going to be on the bottom piece so I'm going to adhere the yellow piece there And it fits just perfectly inside that stitch rectangle, so it gives a little bit of extra stitching, and I just love that. And now I'm adding that on there, and I just think that looks cute with the little scalloped. It's different looking. Now I'm going to use the doodlebug twine, and I'm just unraveling some of that to use, and I'm going to tie a bow on the top there. So I'm just opening up the card, and then just tying it across the top there. And I think that will look cute for some nice texture. And I always love adding twine and bows on my cards if I can. So I'm just tying that on. And then I'm just going to snip off those little ends there. And a little piece right there. So now I have the whole card base ready. Now I'm going to stamp out my images. So starting with the Lawn Fawn Baked with Love, I'm going to... Um, use some images on that one, the Pizza My Heart set, and the Fairy Friends. So this is probably the fastest part of my video because the stamping of the images um, I thought I could go through really quickly. So I'm just stamping out that super cute little cake stand. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. That's my favorite ink for doing Copic coloring. And then I am just inking up that little bowl and the little spoon. And as you can see, I'm still using baby wipes. I saw everyone has been using the new Lawn Fawn chamois and I really wanna get one of those. More than ever, I've really took a notice of how often lint does stick onto my stamps from the baby wipes. So I'm gonna have to get one of those. They, it seems like everyone's really been liking them. Leave a message in the comment section if you have um, tried one out and if you've been enjoying it. I'm really interested to know how you guys have been liking it. So I did add, using the little heart, a heart on the bowl, this cake stand, and also the spoon. I thought that was cute. And now using the Fairy Friends set, I'm stamping out those sweet little fairies. And a few weeks ago, I shared a card where the fairies were doing some baking. So I thought it'd be fun if they were doing some pizza making or like a little pizza um, party with the fairies. I thought that'd be really cute. So now using this pizza set, it is so stinking cute. I stamped out that little pizza box. 
And now I'm just gonna stamp out two of these little slices. And they're so sweet because you can make the pizza have what type of toppings you like on it. And I think that's so cool that you can um, choose the way you want your pizza to be. And then I stamped out that little pizza cutter and a big pizza. And now for the toppings, there's a ton of toppings you can pick from. It's crazy how many they have on there. I love it. So I'm going to do some pepperoni and pineapple because that is my husband and my favorite type of pizza. So I'm just stamping on some pepperonis. And then I'm going to stamp on some pineapples. And that little pineapple, you could use that as a red pepper, a green pepper, or pineapple, which is really neat that um, you can do a few different, the way you color it up, you can make some different um, use out of it. And so that is my stamping. So now I'm going to get color coloring. So to start with, I'm using W3 and W1. It's like a darker, almost um, like a softer color gray, like a warm gray. So I'm just coloring in that little bit of flower that I'm going to have in the bowl. And then using my white jelly pen, I'm just adding some accents on there. Then using C4 and C2, I'm just coloring up that little blade on the pizza cutter. And I think that cutter is just absolutely adorable when you stick it into those fairies' hands. Their hands are just perfect to be holding things. There are so many possibilities for these little fairies. So again, adding some dimension with the um, white jelly pen. And now I'm using my red. This is R14. And then I'm going to be using R39 and R29. And I've really been liking this um, red combo a lot lately. And then adding on some jelly pen accents. And now I'm going to do the red heart inside that little spoon with the same colors. And then I color up that pizza box. I really like this red co color combo. I definitely stray away from red because I find that it bleeds a lot. And it's one of the harder color combos that I've found to Copic color with. But um, I've been trying to use red a little bit more often just because I don't use red very much and I've been loving this color combo a lot. I find you don't need to blend a ton with those three colors and that is nice for not having it bleed. So now I'm going to be using E53, E55, and E57 to color in the pizza box. And another thing I think would be cute is if you added some hearts onto the little pizza box. I did a card um, a few days ago as a practice to see what this would look like. And I did add hearts inside the pizza box. Like I stamped them on it and it looked so cute. But when I was making this card, I forgot. I just realized it now as I'm doing the voiceover. So if you are making this card, definitely add some hearts on the pizza box because I think that would look super cute. So now I'm just shading out with E53. And I think with this pizza set too, you could do a lot of really nice masculine cards. Like you could color up those pizza boxes in a lot of different colors. So I'm just going to do those red hearts on the cake stand and the bowl. And again, it's just with that same red color combo that I was previously using. And now I'm going to color in that little bowl. And I wanted to leave that little white... Um, line on the bowl leave it white and it did run into the white a little bit I had a little bit of trouble with the red bleeding and so I just used my white jelly pen to go over top of that to cover up the bleeding that the red did so I'm just covering up that little spot that bled and adding on some accents there with the white jelly pen. And now I'm going to do the cake stand. And then I'm just blending that out with the R14. And now I'm going to use that E57, E55, and E53 to color in that little spoon. And 
and now I get to color it in the pizzas and I love coloring in the pizzas, it's so fun. So I use that same red color for the pepperonis. I use the R39, R29, and R14. And I think it looked so cute for the little pepperonis. I had a ton of fun coloring up the pizzas. I think there's a lot of um, fun ways you could make it with all the different toppings and it's just such a cute set. I was so excited when this set first came out. So now I'm gonna color in the pineapples using Y15 and Y13. And then to do the crust, I'm gonna use E55 and E53. And I think it looks cute, it makes it look like it's toasted. And then I'm gonna color in the crust on that big sized pizza. Seeing all this pizza is totally making me hungry for pizza. I'm going to have to talk my husband into getting pizza this week for dinner one night. So then I'm going to do the cheese once that's finished being blended. I'm going to be using Y35, Y32, and E55. So starting with the lightest color of yellow, Y32, I'm just coloring in that whole area of cheese. And then I'm going to use the Y35 and just go around all of the pepperonis and all of the pineapple toppings just to make it look more realistic. And then I'm going to go back in with the Y32 and blend that out. And then using the Y50, or sorry, the E53, I think I might have said it was E55, it's E53. Then I'm going to go back around all those toppings again. And this just makes it look like it was baked in the oven, it has like that little bit of um, baking on the top of the cheese. Then I'm going to go back with the Y32 and just blend that all out. And I think that looks really good, it looks very real. Then using the E53, I'm just going to add some dots with the Copic marker, just some like little speckles on the pizza. And then using my white jelly pen, I'm just gonna add some little dots on the pepperonis and also on the little pineapples. And if you watch Nicole McGork, she shows a lot of card tutorials. I saw her do this on her pizza that she did in one of her videos and so that's where I got this idea from. I really like how she did that. So there is the little pepperoni pizzas, well pepperoni and pineapple pizzas. Now using the E11 and E00, I'm gonna do the skin for the two fairies. I have two lighter skin fairies and then I'm gonna do a fairy with a little bit of darker skin as well. So I'm just using RV21 to do their cheeks and then I added three little dots on their cheeks with my white jelly pen. Now to do the other fairy there, I'm using E13, I believe. I think I go in with the E15 as well. And then I'm going in with the E11. I want it to be a little bit darker, so I went back in with E15. And then I went over it with E13 and blended that out. She is so cute. And then I went back in with the RV21 and then with the little three white dots as well. Then with B000, I did all of the wings just around the outside and then I used my colorless blender to um, allow it to give like a lighter color and have it blended into the wings. Then using RV25 and RV14, I'm just coloring in that little fairy's dress. And then using my white jelly pen, I'm gonna give it some little polka dots just to make it look cute. And then I'm going to do her hair using E53 and then using the E55 I'm adding some flicking motion to color in that hair. And then I'm going to use this yellow color Y35 
<laughs> I don't know if you heard the ducks um, outside. There was like some Canadian geese that just flew by. Um, and then using E53, I'm doing her hair. And with the E55, I'm doing some flicking. And then also with the E57 and E59. And now I'm going to use E55, so I'm doing a base color with that. And then using the E57, I'm doing some flicking. And then using E59, I'm adding in some flicking as well. And then I go in with the black 100 color. And I did some more flicking there. And then I ended up adding a little bit of E57 because I really wanted to make sure it was nice and dark. And I did go back in with the E59 as well. So they look so cute. Now using the B69 and B66, I'm just coloring in her cute little dress. And then using the white jelly pen, I will add some polka dots on her dress as well. And then using G07 and G05, I color this little sweetie's dress. And oh my gosh, this little green dress, she looks like Tinkerbell, she's so cute. And then I give her some little polka dots on her dress as well. So that is my Copic coloring. And then I did go back in at the top there because that red just kept bleeding. So I tried to give you a little close up and now I'm going to fussy cut all of these little images out. And I'm just using a little pair of sewing scissors. If you had the coordinating dies, you could use those at this point. This is probably my favorite part of my card making is fussy cutting out the images. I know some people don't like fussy cutting, but this is one of my favorite parts is cutting out all the little pieces. They just look so cute and finished at this point. So there are all my cutout pieces and now I'm going to assemble the card. So to begin with, I'm just going to set all the little pieces on and put them in the spot I want them in and then I'm going to adhere them down. And like I said, I did make this card already a few days ago so I had a good idea where I wanted them all to be set. And it looks so cute. They look like they're having a little pizza making party. <laughs> so now I'm just using my ATG gun to adhere these pieces down. And then I'm just putting those little pizza slices. And then I just put the little bowl and then I'm gonna put that little spoon in it and that little bit of um, flour or pizza mix. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put that little fairy holding the pizza there. And then that other little fairy is going to be cutting the pizza. So now using my Wink of Stella brush, I love this thing. I am adding a whole bunch of glitter. What is a pizza party with fairies without Wink of Stella all over the toppings? <laughs> so I'm just coloring all of these up with glitter. I will link that below as well. Jamie does carry that in the shop. So there is my card, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always so much for watching. Please head over and check out the Not Too Shabby shop. I will put links below. And if you do head over, you can use my coupon code CRAFTYGIRL to save 10%. Thanks guys so much for watching. Bye now.